Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix device security with the error kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection is off. So please follow the steps with me and let's jump into it. So we can just head over to Windows Security and check the error. And over here I'm not able to turn it on. So let's fix this issue. First of all, make sure to disable any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton or any other antivirus on your computer. On the left side, click on Apps, then select Optional Features, scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on More Windows Features. Over here, make sure to check this one, Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Hypervisor Platform. After these two, then you need to look for Hyper-V in here. If you find Hyper-V, make sure to check that one as well. In my case, I don't have it. Once you're done, then click OK. Once it's completed, you need to make sure to restart your computer. If this solution didn't work, then you need to boot into BIOS to enable the virtual processes of the motherboard and the processor. So to do that, we need to restart the computer. And while it's booting up, then we need to press the BIOS hotkeys. This is depends on your device motherboard. You can just check on the internet to see what keys you need to press to get into the BIOS menu. And once you're in the BIOS menu, you need to look for virtualization or in AMD processor, the name will be available as SVM. So to enable it, on the top, click on search and look for SVM. So after you find the virtualization or SVM, make sure to enable it, then save it and restart your computer. After you restart your computer, the previous method should work. If not, then go back to this page again and over here, click on review incompatible drivers. So in here, under incompatible drivers, it's showing VGK SYS, which is Valorant Anti-Cheat Program that I need to uninstall it and reinstall it. So to do that, open up settings and on the left click on apps, then select install apps. In the search bar, type riots. And once you find riots Vanguard, on the right side, click on these three dots and uninstall it. And after that, try to launch your riot clients and log into your account. Once you signed in, then automatically it will ask you to update. So just click on update and let it update. And then in the meantime, open your Windows security. There you go. As you can see, it's all working fine now. And also on the top, it says the change requires you to restart your device. So make sure to restart your device. Hopefully one of these solutions will work for you. So please don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.